Driving into Joshua Tree is like arriving in a bizarre new world. You're surrounded by scraggly trees and enormous piles of carefully placed rocks. Welcome to Casa Balkus Old Gearson. <laughs> We're in Joshua Tree. We've downgraded because we've learned that it's windy at night in the desert. And now, hiking to Skull Rock, learning about desert vegetation. If you do go hiking, make sure you go very early in the day. The desert heat is no joke. And bring lots of water and sunblock and a hat. The park is full of wildlife. We saw a bunch of jackrabbits and cottontails. This one hung out around our campsite. We named her Jackie. She was very friendly and checked in on us often. Clearly, she was used to people giving her treats. We also heard owls, coyotes, and wood rats at night, but more on those later. My favorite were the quail. Their call is ridiculous and always makes me laugh. Do you hear it? Joshua Tree is famous for rock climbing and has thousands of climbing routes. We're not exactly big into climbing, but our campground had lots of boulders that were easy to scramble up. When the sun began to set, the jumbo rocks turned into an enormous jungle gym slash photo shoot backdrop. The Choya Cactus Garden is about 20 minutes away and well worth the visit. They're so erratic and spindly, like something out of a Dr. Seuss dream. But they're very dangerous. Apparently, the stems detach easily and new plants grow from the little choya balls. It was incredible to see them at golden hour, flanked by mountain ranges in the distance. And finally, the stars were fantastic. We would lay on the enormous picnic table, seeing who could spot the most shooting stars. Eric usually won. There are so many ways to experience Joshua Tree, but these were our favorites. <laughs> 